A diesel multiple unit or DMU is a multiple unit train powered by onboard diesel engines. A DMU requires no separate locomotive, as the engines are incorporated into one or more of the carriages. Diesel-powered single-unit railcars are also generally classed as DMUs. Diesel-powered units may be further classified by their transmission type, diesel-electric diesel-mechanical or diesel-hydraulic Design The diesel engine may be located above the frame in an engine bay or under the floor. Driving controls can be at both ends, on one end, or in a separate car. Topic. Types DMUs are usually classified by the method of transmitting motive power to their wheels. Topic: <inaudible> Diesel mechanical. In a diesel mechanical multiple unit (DMMU), the rotating energy of the engine is transmitted via a gearbox and drive shaft directly to the wheels of the train, like a car. The transmissions can be shifted manually by the driver, as in the great majority of first-generation British rail DMUs, but in most applications, gears are changed automatically. <laughs> Diesel-hydraulic In a diesel hydraulic multiple unit DHMU, a hydraulic torque converter, a type of fluid coupling, acts as the transmission medium for the motive power of the diesel engine to turn the wheels. Some units feature a hybrid mix of hydraulic and mechanical transmissions, usually reverting to the latter at higher operating speeds as this decreases engine RPM and noise. Topic: Diesel electric. In a diesel electric multiple unit (DEMU), a diesel engine drives an electrical generator or an alternator, which produces electrical energy. The generated current is then fed to electric traction motors on the wheels or bogies in the same way as a conventional diesel electric locomotive. In modern Demos, such as the Bombardier Voyager family, each car is entirely self contained and has its own engine, generator, and electric motors. In older designs, such as the British Rail Class 207, some cars within the consist may be entirely unpowered or only feature electric motors, obtaining electric current from other cars in the consist which have a generator and engine. Topic: <laughs> Advantages and disadvantages. A train composed of DMU cars scales well, as it allows extra passenger capacity to be added at the same time as motive power. It also permits passenger capacity to be matched to demand, and for trains to be split and joined en route. It is not necessary to match the power available to the size and weight of the train, as each unit is capable of moving itself. As units are added, the power available to move the train increases by the necessary amount. DMUs may have better acceleration capabilities, with more power-driven axles, making them more suitable for routes with frequent closely spaced stops, as compared with conventional locomotive and unpowered carriage setups. 
Distribution of the propulsion among the cars also results in a system that is less vulnerable to single point of failure outages. Many classes of DMU are capable of operating with faulty units still in the consist. Because of the self-contained nature of diesel engines, there is no need to run overhead electric lines or electrified track, which can result in lower system construction costs. Such advantages must be weighed against the underfloor noise and vibration that may be an issue with this type of train. Generally diesel traction has several downsides compared to electric traction, namely higher fuel costs, more noise and exhaust as well as worse acceleration and top speed performance. The power to weight ratio also tends to be worse. DMUs have further disadvantages compared to diesel locomotives in that they cannot be swapped out when passing onto an electrified line, necessitating either passengers to change trains or diesel operation on electrified lines. Similarly the lost investment once electrification reduces the demand for diesel rolling stock is higher than with locomotive hauled trains where only the locomotive has to be replaced. <laughs> Around the world Topic Europe Topic Croatia Diesel multiple units are in constant use in Croatia, operated by national operator Croatian Railways. On Croatian railways, DMUs have important role since they cover local, regional and distant lines across the country. Two largest towns in Croatia, Zagreb and Split, are daily connected with DMU titling trains. Regio Swinger, Croatian Series 7123 that provide intercity service between those two towns since 2004. In the early 1990s, luxury DMU series 7021, ordered for Yugoslav Railways in 1970s, now scrapped, provided some of higher ranked lines across the country. DMU series series 7121, renumbered leftover from former Yugoslav Railways 7122, ordered from Sweden in late 1990s and later Croatian built series 7022 and 7023, prototype remained, are nowadays in high use covering countries' local and regional services, most mostly in countries' interior on the tracks that are not fully electrified. Ireland In the Republic of Ireland the Coras Iampere Aeran CA, which controlled the Republic's railways between 1945 and 1986, introduced DMUs in the mid-1950s and they were the first diesel trains on many main lines. <laughs> United Kingdom The first significant use of DMUs in the United Kingdom was by the Great Western Railway, which introduced its small but successful series of diesel mechanical GWR railcars in 1934. The London and North Eastern Railway and London, Midland and Scottish Railway also experimented with DMUs in the 1930s, the LMS both on its own system, and on that of its Northern Irish subsidiary, but development was curtailed by World War II. 
After nationalisation, British Railways BR revived the concept in the early 1950s. At that time there was an urgent need to move away from expensive steam traction which led to many experimental designs using diesel propulsion and multiple units. The early DMUs proved successful, and under BR's 1955 modernization plan the building of a large fleet was authorized. These BR. First generation. DMUs were built between 1956 and 1963. BR required that contracts for the design and manufacture of new locomotives and rolling stock be split between numerous private firms as well as BR's own workshops, while different BR regions laid down different specifications. The result was a multitude of different types, one of which was intercity units, which were more substantially constructed, and shared many features with contemporary hauled coaching stock. They were built for express services on important secondary routes on the Scottish, North Eastern and Western regions. In 1960, British Railways introduced its Blue Pullman high-speed Demus. These were few in number and relatively short-lived, but they paved the way for the very successful Intercity 125 or High Speed Train HST units, which were built between 1975 and 1982 to take over most principal express services on non-electrified routes. These 125 miles per hour, 201 kilometers per hour trains run with a streamlined power car at each end and typically 7 to 9 intermediate trailer cars. Although originally classified as Demus, the trailer cars are very similar to loco hauled stock and the power cars were later reclassified as locomotives under class 43. They remain in widespread use. By the early 1980s, many of the surviving first generation units were reaching the end of their design life, leading to spiraling maintenance costs, poor reliability, and a poor public image for the railway. A stopgap solution was to convert some services back to locomotive haulage, as spare locomotives and hauled coaching stock were available, but this also increased operating costs. Commencing in the mid-80s, British Rail embarked upon its so-called sprinterization program, to replace most of the first-generation DMUs and many locomotive-hauled trains with three new families of DMU. Class 140-144 Pacer Railbuses, ultra-low-cost diesel mechanical units utilizing four-wheeled chassis and lightweight bus bodywork, designed for provincial branch line and stopping services. Sprinter a family of diesel hydraulic DMUs. These fall into three subgroups, class 150 sprinters for branch line, commuter service, class 153, 155, 156 super sprinters for longer cross-country services, and class 158, 159 express units for secondary express services. Networker diesel hydraulic units, of class 165 network turbo standard commuter version and class 166 network express for longer distance commuter services. These took over the remaining non-electric commuter services into London, following the impact of the privatisation of British Rail in the late 1990s, several other diesel hydraulic DMU families have been introduced. 
Class 168 Clubman and Class 170, 171 170 seconds Turbostars, a development of the earlier networkers. These are built by Adtrans and later Bombardier at Derby Litchurch Lane Works and are the most numerous and widespread of the post-privatization designs. Purchased by Anglia Railways, Central Trains, Chiltern Railways, London Midland, London Overground Rail Operations, Midland Mainline and Scotrail. Class 175 Alstom Caradias were designed by Alstom as a rival to the 170 Turbostar, but bought only by First North Western. Class 180 Adelantes were an Alstom design for express services built only for First Great Western. Class 185 Siemens Deseros, built by Siemens introduced in 2006 by First Transpennine Express Class 195-196 CAF Civities, being built by CAF for Arriva Rail North and West Midlands trains Class 220 221 220 seconds Voyagers, Meridians built by Bombardier in Bruges for Hull Trains, Midland Mainline and Virgin Cross Country in 2018. The first buy and tri mode electro diesel multiple units were introduced. Class 800 800 seconds S are being built by Hitachi for Great Western Railway, Hull Trains, London North Eastern Railway and Transpennine Express Class 755 Stadler Flirts are to be operated by Abilio Greater Anglia Class 769s are being converted by brush traction from Class 319s for Arriva Rail North, Great Western Railway and Keolasami Wales. North America Canada Canada generally follows similar buffer strength requirements to the USA, but new services are evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis. As a result, several types of lightweight DMUs have been used. The O-Train Trillium line in Ottawa, Ontario uses European standard Alstom Caradia Lint, previously Bombardier Talent DMUs on conventional railway tracks under a specific safety agreement with Transport Canada. Via Rail operates Bud Rail diesel cars on its Sudbury, White River train. Rizzo Charlevoix Le Massif operates a shuttle in the Charlevoix region, Quebec. Canadian National operates the small custom-built Cowham shuttle between Lillooet, and Darcy via Seton Portage, 213 kilometers, 132 miles northeast of Vancouver, in a partnership with the Seton Lake Indian Band. Union Pearson Express uses Nippon Shario DMU trains for express service between Union Station and Pearson Airport. Topic: <laughs> Costa Rica. Costa Rica has purchased several Apollo 2400 series DMU railcars from the former narrow gauge operator in Spain, which are run in commuter service. Topic: <laughs> United States. A type of diesel multiple units in the U.S. was the Bud Rail Diesel Car RDC. 
The RDC was a single passenger car with two diesel engines and two sets of controls. In the United States, only FRA compliant DMU systems are permitted on freight rail corridors. This is due to the Federal Railway Administration setting higher coupling strength requirements than European regulators, effectively prohibiting the use of lighter weight European style intercity rail DMUs on U.S. mainline railways without timesharing with freight operations or special waivers from the FRA. This has greatly restricted the development of DMUs within the U.S. as no other country requires the much heavier FRA compliant vehicles, and no export market for them exists. Operations using FRA compliant vehicles the South Florida Regional Transportation Authority has used a Colorado railcar bi-level DMU and coach consist since October 2006 as a technology demonstrator on the 87-mile-long tri-rail commuter rail line between Miami and West Palm Beach, Florida. In early 2007, three more bi-level DMUs and an additional bi-level non-powered coach were acquired. Since February 2009, TriMet is using FRA-compliant Colorado Railcar DMUs for its rush hour West Commuter Rail service, a suburb-to-suburb -suburb line between Beaverton and Wilsonville, Oregon. The opening of the line was delayed from fall 2008 to early 2009 due to delays in getting the vehicles. TriMet also has four refurbished former Alaska RR and Trinity Railway Express RDCs as backup trainsets for when one or more Colorado Railcar DMUs is out of service. Also in Oregon, former BC Rail RDCs were used on the Lewis and Clark Explorer excursion train from Portland to Astoria. Sonoma Marin Area Rail Transit, also referred to as SMART, operates Nippon Shario DMUs the same as those in Toronto on its route between San Rafael and Santa Rosa, California. Service commenced in 2017, operations using non-FRA compliant vehicles. Capital Metro uses Stadler GTW cars to operate Capital Metrorail, a commuter rail line serving the greater Austin, Texas area. In Denton County, Texas, DCTA also uses Stadler GTW cars to operate its A train service. DCTA has secured from the FRA the first ever alternative vehicle technology waiver to use these cars on active freight corridors. NJ Transit operates the River Line from Camden, New Jersey to Trenton, New Jersey, every 15 minutes during peak hours and every 30 minutes at other times. It uses modified Stadler GTW trains of one or two cars. The line is classified as light rail because it utilizes imported European-made DMUs that do not meet FRA crash guidelines. The cars may not operate with the freight rail service that shares the line, so evening operating hours are restricted to Saturday nights. This line currently carries over 7,500 passengers on a typical weekday, exceeding expectations. NCTD operates the Sprinter line using Desera Classic DMUs built by Siemens AG. Opened March, 2008, the line operates every half hour daily, except limitations in the morning and at night on Saturday, Sunday and on holidays. The line runs from Oceanside, CA, where transfer is possible with Coaster Commuter Rail Service to San Diego, to Escondido, CA. 
Like the NJT River Line, it is classified as light rail due to the use of European-made DMUs, but does not run at a more typical light rail frequency. Proposed operations. The EBART expansion of the Bay Area Rapid Transit System will implement Stadler GTW diesel multiple unit train service from the existing Pittsburgh, Bay Point Station East along the Highway 4 corridor to the town of Antioch. Future expansions in this direction could connect the EBART service to Oakley, Brentwood, Byron, and beyond to Tracy and Stockton. The DMU system was chosen as a less expensive alternative to the existing third rail BART design. Service is scheduled to begin in May 2018. The Los Angeles County Metropolitan Transportation Authority approved an allocation of $250,000 for a feasibility study of DMUs for future transportation options for the region." On 5 July 2006 era Nigerian, Metro Board member. Chicago's commuter rail line, Metra, is studying the use of DMUs on its newly proposed lines Star Line, SES. They claim these DMUs will have better acceleration, be more fuel efficient, and seat more customers than the current diesel locomotive and double-decker rail cars that are currently in use. Seattle area, the Central Puget Sound's Regional Transit Agency Sound Transit, along with the Puget Sound Regional Council evaluated the feasibility of both DMU and diesel locomotive technology for operation in the East Side BNSF corridor in response to a state legislative request. The East Side BNSF corridor runs from the city of Snohomish in the north to Renton in the south of the metro area. Sound Transit has no plans to operate passenger rail service in the East Side BNSF corridor, but has committed limited funds to provide capital improvements in the event another public or private operator proposes to operate the service. Anchorage Matsu area, as part of a joint U.S. Forest Service USFS and ARRC Chugach Forest Whistle Stop project, a self propelled rail car was purchased and delivered spring 2009. The diesel multiple unit DMU may be available for flexible demonstration service during winter months. The Long Island Railroad, the busiest commuter railroad in the United States, is exploring the possibility of operating DMUs on some of its lesser-traveled routes in non-electrified territory on the Montauk, Greenport, Port Jefferson, and Oyster Bay branches, where operation of its current fleet of C-3 bilevel railcars pulled by DE-30AC, DM-30AC locomotives is uneconomical and inefficient. Redlands Passenger Rail Project will utilize Stadler Flirt trainsets along its service route in Redlands, California. Asia, Australasia Topic Australia DMUs were first introduced to Australia in the late mid 20th century for use on quiet branch lines that could not justify a locomotive hauled service. Today, DMUs are widely used throughout Australia's southern states. Adelaide Metro uses a variety of DMUs on their suburban network. NSW Trainlink use Explorer DMUs on services from Sydney to Canberra ACT, Griffith, 
Broken Hill, Armadale and Murray. Endeavour DMUs are used on services to Bathurst, Moss Vale and Goulburn on the Southern Highlands Line, Kiama to Bomaderry and on the Hunter Line. Hunter DMUs are also used on the Hunter Line. Victoria's V – Line uses Sprinter and V – Lossity DMUs on all medium distance services. Western Australia's Transwa operates the Prospector, Avonlink and Australand on medium and long distance country services. In Queensland, Heritage DMUs are used on the Savannahlander and Gulflander tourist trains. Topic: <laughs> Bangladesh Chinese manufactured CNR Tongshan DEMU was introduced in Bangladesh from May 25, 2013. DEMU is the country's first ever commuter train service starting its journey on the Chittagong Fauzidarhat line. <laughs> India DMUs Demus are widely used in India. DEMUs in India are used in both the 8-coach format and the 4-coach format. First generation DMU Rated power was 700 HP and had 3 or 6 coaches, made first by ICF. Transmission was Voith Hydraulic. Max speed 100 kmph. Second generation DMU. Rated power was 1400 HP and have 8 coaches. Max speed is 105 kmph. Transmission is DC electric. Made at HCF and RCF. Third generation DMU Rated power is 1600 HP and have 10 coaches. Max speed is 110 kmph. Transmission is AC electric. Made at ICF. Indonesia. <inaudible> 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 State-owned company PT. Inca builds several type of DMU, some of which operate in urban and suburban areas. Kualanamu Airport Rail Link Wujin DMU Manangkabau Airport Rail Link Adisamurmo Airport Rail Link Kedungsapur Sri Lelawangsa Prambanan Express Way Umpu Kurtalaya Railbus Bathara Kresna Railbus Japan In Japan, where gasoline-driven railbuses on small private lines and railmotors, Kihani 5000 of the National Railways had been built since the 1920s. The first two streamlined DMUs came in service in 1937. Class Kiha 43,000, Kiha 43,000 Shi, the service of several hundreds, in some even thousands, of diesel railcars and DMUs started in 1950s, following the improvement of fuel supply that was critical during World War II. Topic: <laughs> Philippines. The Southrail or the South Main Line of the Philippine National Railways which travels south of the Luzon Island is one of the oldest rail lines in Asia and in the world. 
The Southrail of Philippine National Railways uses Hyundai Rotom DMUs together with second-hand DMUs from East Japan Railway Company or Junior East. These are Kiha 52 and Kiha 59 which is also known as the Kogan. Trains such as the Hyundai Rotom DMUs and Kiha 52 are often used for metro commuter line services, while Kiha 59 is mostly used for Bicol interprovincial services and sometimes also for the metro commuter services. Topic: <laughs> South Korea Corail operates many DMUs. The DHC diesel hydraulic car, which made its debut for the 1988 Seoul Olympics, can reach speeds up to 170 km per hour, 106 miles per hour, and serves Samal Ho trains. Topic: <laughs> Sri Lanka DMUs were first introduced to Sri Lanka in 1940. The aim of this was connecting minor railway stations and stops on the main line where most express trains don't have a halt. Topic: <laughs> Taiwan The DMUs are now usually used on the Taiwan Railway Administration Hualien Taidung Line, North Link Line. DMUs in Taiwan are classified as Class Drive. Class DR2700 built by Tokyo Car Corporation in 1966, was the fastest train on the West Coast Line. Class DR2800 built by Tokyo Car Corporation in 1982 and 1984 Class DR2900 Class DR3000 Class DR3100 <laughs> 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 DMU manufacturers include Topic See also Electric multiple unit Battery electric multiple unit Diesel locomotive